The disturbing surge in anti-Semitism that we're seeing is a top priority for the Anti-Defamation League. The ADL has issued a report recently called Hate in the Sunshine State, documenting an increasing presence of white supremacist groups. Lonnie Wilk is Senior Associate Regional Director of the ADL Florida, and great to have you. Lonnie, why here and why now? Good morning, and it's very uh, concerning the findings that we found in this report, uh, the, the concerns that we uh, expressed um, were extremely distressing. We found that we had a 71% increase in extremist related incidents in the state of Florida. Uh, we found more than 400 white supremacist propaganda incidents in the state of Florida. But, we, but why here and why now? What is it about this time and place that that's happening? I think one of the key factors and one of the key recommendations uh, coming out of this report is that we need leaders, political leaders, cultural leaders, community leaders to speak up strongly always when there is anti-Semitism or any form of bigotry. Uh, and the findings that we found in this report clearly demonstrate that in our state, uh, we have a lot of work to do. Yeah. Uh, Lonnie, as we know, as you certainly know, in the wake of these ugly comments by Kanye West and then Kyrie Urban, um, people all across the spectrum have spoken out against them and said this is wrong. And Kanye West lost a billion dollar contract, I guess, with Adidas. And Nike said that they're not going to put out any shoes for Kyrie Irving. So there, there are consequences and people are speaking out. Uh, and yet you've got Kyrie Urban, you know, not denouncing this Holocaust denial film. So uh, what do you do? I mean, what what should be the response? I think uh, the re a strong response to individuals who have these extremely large platforms uh, is definitely required. It's a, a matter of education to be sure. But when someone repeats extremism, anti-Semitism, or another form of bigotry, uh, they have to take responsibility for their words. They have to be held uh, accountable. And I think that's what increasingly we're seeing here is that individuals, again, who have millions upon millions uh, of followers really have a responsibility to use their voices for good, for unity, to promote uh, uh, strong values, uh, not yeah. to divide us, not to send messages of fear and intimidation and hate. So Lonnie, let me ask you the flip side to that coin and something that, I, that I've talked with my colleagues about in reporting these news stories, especially about celebrities and people with huge platforms and, and the rabbi in the previous segment talked about what a difference, what a change maker that is. How mm -hmm. does a news organization report on these facts, especially television with visuals involved, without amplifying and repeating mm -hmm. and showing mm -hmm. the kinds of things that are shown, which just show the message and which may be horrifying to good people, but maybe something else to someone who's not so good? How do we do that? I think we can look to do that by promoting uh, a message confronting anti-Semitism and uh, bias in our society proactively show and demonstrate the efforts by so many in our community to be upstanders. Uh, look, we had the incidents that uh, were just spoken about in Weston. They may have been conducted by one person, they may have been conducted by a group of people. Uh, law enforcement will give us information on that, uh, but uh, we have thousands and thousands and thousands of other people throughout our community uh, who can use their voices, whose voices can be uh, uh, highlighted. Uh, and, and so when we look to see, when we look in the aftermath of such incidents, as important as it is to definitely uh, highlight what has happened. It's vital to also demonstrate uh, and, and show the community th what can happen when we stand together, when we say bigotry is not who we are. 
right. when we say that an anti if if there's an anti-Semitic incident, it's considered to be anti-me. If there's a homophobic incident, it's considered anti-me. If it's a racist incident, it's considered anti-me. The people who are saying that, who are demonstrating those values, are the more important voices than those who are expressing uh, just horrific discrimination and bigotry. Well, we appreciate the work that you and the ADL do. It is tireless, it is important, and bringing this to light, and as Glenna says, we need to be mindful of not helping to spread the message of hate, and we certainly try not to. Yeah, thank you.